This video tutorial is three of my favorite things, autumn themed, nature inspired doodles. Hello my friends, welcome back. My name is Shada Campbell and on this channel we get creative together. It's always my goal to make sure that art is not scary. It shouldn't be scary. Now today, because I love autumn and I know you do too, we're gonna work on some autumn doodles together. These are all items from the natural world that are just fun and easy to draw. You can work them into your planner, your bujo, greeting cards, whatever. So let's just get started. All right, today I'm going to begin with one of my favorite autumn doodles, acorns and oak leaves. I'm taking a dark brown and we're going to draw some circles here for the acorns. You can leave a little highlight if you want, you don't have to, kind of perfectly imperfect circles. Then we're taking a lighter brown and we're gonna give these circles like a little hat. So I'm just drawing this thick curving line across the top of each acorn or each circle. Then I take my dark brown again and we add some little stems and branches. From there, we're going to draw the oak leaves. In the oak leaves, you start with the center line and then you just add all these pairs of ovals. And the pairs of ovals, they sort of get shaped into a leaf. So you can see how that's coming together. I take my brush pen and I keep going around and around until I get the shape of this larger oak leaf. But it is made of all these little ovals. You'll see me do it again. All the little pairs of ovals come together along that curving stem to create the oak leaf. We'll let that dry. It's very humid here today, so my markers can run a bit. But uh, moving on, we'll draw some berries together. Now, I'm using a burgundy marker to draw clusters of little circles, but these could be any color and any size. Um, once you've drawn some uh, little berry circles, we're just gonna take another brush pen and use the tip to join them all together, um, making branches and stems and maybe some little dots on top of the berries. Finally, take a third color. I'm using a very warm color palette today, so I'm drawing peach leaves, and we're just making all these tiny little ovals, sort of ovals in pairs and singles, and uh, that makes the, our berries really pop, adding all those little little leaves to them. Next is a fall item that used to scare me, and that is a maple leaf. Now you'll see how much I've simplified it. We start with the stem, and then we go around and just draw these five points. So they're kind of like rounded triangles or ovals, and then I just fill the whole thing in. So I have really, really simplified the maple leaf, maybe thicken the stem up a little, but you can see it still gives the feel of that maple leaf falling in the wind. And again, we'll come back and layer some more color on that. Once once it is totally dry. Our next doodle is wheat or like an autumn grass. So start with a curving stem and then just add a little bit of thicker area at the top. We'll do that again, just kind of thicken the top here. It could be pointed, it could be rounded. I'm doing a couple of them, like a nice little cluster looks good. Then come in with an alternate color. I'm using like a dark mustard yellow on top of this sandy brown. And I'm darkening the stem a little or that line and then just doing all these little tiny detail lines um, to make that look of a wheat or a dried grass that you would bring in the house in the fall. Final drawing is going to be mushrooms. I always draw mushrooms in the fall. These are so cute for putting in your bujo. And I always give the same advice. And that is just draw any old shape. It could be an oval, it could be a circle, a square even. And then you're just gonna add a stem to that shape and it's going to look like a mushroom. I used a very light gray for that one. And then I'm coming in with a slightly darker gray and we're gonna darken the stem, you know, make it look like it's in shadow because it has that big cap over top of it. We'll add some little dotting. We'll add a little bit of um, shading to the top of the mushroom cap. And then finally, to really make these light gray mushrooms pop off the page, I wanna just add a few leaves there, maybe a bit of grass, simply because the mushrooms are quite light in color and I want them to really show up on that white page. And finally, it wouldn't be a Shada Campbell video without some floral doodles, so grab a warm color and we'll use our brush pen to draw these little clustered floral doodles. I draw them sort of one petal at a time, little clusters of three and four petals. And then just like the berries, we use um, another brush pen, a dark brown maybe or a green, to join all the little flowers together and put a stamen at the center of each. 
Finally, again, like the berries, grab another color and we'll draw in all these tiny little oval shaped leaves. And I even used a darker purple to kind of add some contrast to those flowers. And that kind of brings me into what I wanna do to finish these doodles. And that is to finally start layering. It was really humid, as I said, when I shot this. So I didn't want my marker to run. If you'd live in a dry climate, you're just like, what does that mean? <laughs> um, but here by the ocean, the marker can can really bleed especially when you're layering it so you saw that I put some extra marker on like the acorn or actually the oak leaves and on the flowers now I'm also able to go in with my black pen and add a little bit of a sketchy black line just wherever I think it would really make the illustration pop I don't want to go over everything that'll just make it look really heavy but outlining the mushrooms is key because they were so light um, I'm going to outline this leaf I added just a black detail to the acorns but not the leaves adding a little bit of detail to the wheat here so just go sparingly and add that sketchy black line where you think you need it or you can skip it all together this is totally up to you it's at the artist's discretion it's all about developing your own artistic style even when it comes to doodles there we go that's about done I think I'm gonna leave it alone thank you so much for watching today I hope you got some ideas for doodles that you can use in your own planner your own artwork this fall remember to check the description for all the supply links and don't forget to hit that subscribe button I'll see you soon with a new tutorial